this should just be a quick video. I went back and restarted uh, the game uh, just because I, I felt like I had not probably played uh, the logistics side of things correctly and it was probably leading to a little more aggressive advance than uh, what was probably possible given the game system. So uh, looking at that, now we've pulled the first shit after uh, the opening movement, uh, combat and movement, and it's first panzer. And here's the cool thing about the first, second, third, and fourth panzer chits is that you can either uh, move and then just your mech units can combat, or you can combat and then everyone can move. Sorry, uh, everyone can combat and then everyone can move. The uh, the way and the way that works is it's all the units that are within the range of the HQ, which is three hexes. So we we can just uh, and even if they were uh, from a different uh, army group, they could still be activated. So we would have uh, one, two, three from here, one, two, three to there. Oh, I missed out on that one. That's a bummer. But I have to get these guys in one, two, three. So this group of units are going to be active. And they have these little counters you can put on to show they're active. It's just kind of a, a waste of time uh, digging those out. I just use these and mark the edges of uh, the active range and kind of go from there. So that's what we're going to do. I'm actually... Uh, so, so the choices there are pretty interesting because uh, <clears throat> at some point the logistics shit is going to come out and I'm going to have to hold myself accountable for whether I'm uh, isolated, in supply or whatever the case may be as the Germans, because everyone's supply is checked at the same time. And uh, the flip side of that is I also want to try and keep or put as many uh, enemy units out of supply as possible. So one of the choices I have here, for instance, is all of these units underneath here have a zone of control. I could layer them down here, uh, probably put myself into supply range, fairly easily, because I could count back three here, and I could move this, and then it could count uh, back to a rail line. But I would have to make sure that I have one of these two rail lines cleared, uh, or have a uh, range back to my supply uh, dude, which is here, supply unit, which is here. So there's some choices uh, in terms of the level of risk you want to take. I'm choosing, in this case, to uh, attack these two units. Uh, they're the two toughest units on the board in this section, other than this guy. We'll no hopefully we'll knock those out and I can use air now so I'll, I'll apply some air bombardment to them particularly to this guy in the open and see if we can't uh, allow ourselves to uh, then uh, that would then with advances after combat would allow us to uh, lock down a lot of these units uh, and, and potentially isolate them so that's kind of the that's our, our thinking and where we're at and we'll see what happens. Uh, the alternative obviously would be uh, to move and isolate and then run the risk of putting myself uh, out of supply before the end of the uh, before the end of the turn because uh, anyway and that's all you need to know about that for right now. We'll talk about uh, putting shits that have been played back into the cup at a later date.